Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz and welcome back to Jubilife Town. Here in Pokemon Legends Arceus, we've got Oshawott and Buizel just kind of chatting up a storm over here, talking about how much they love me, especially with my new glasses. But last time on the game, we actually didn't do a whole lot. We came back from our first expedition, leveled up, and then uh, we learned that Mai of the old Diamond Clan wants to talk to us. So we should probably oblige her and start heading out and actually doing something with our lives here. Because I think we just got into that single battle and that was it. I guess we did explore most of Jube life as well. Changed up our stuff. Kind of gave us an idea of what to expect. But still. <laughs> oh my god, how dare you? You crazy bastard. Alright, thanks Volo for giving me a heart attack. Well, this also kind of ties into a secret technique he's going to teach us. It's what he calls the secret backstrike technique. Good for you, Volo. Get that copyrighted and then give it to me. So it'll make it easier to catch or give you an advantage once battle starts. So as you can see, the larger explosion there gives you a backstrike. It's good. All right. Well, we're working to create that Pokedex. Gonna go and record them all, you know. Thank you. Well, with that having been said and done, more characters will have shown up here. And they have missions for us. Great. How's it going, yo? That marvelous rich tone, how's it produced? I must know. Guess who she's talking about? Wait, you're from Survey Corps? Wonderful. I need you to do me a favor. She wants to learn about Cricketot. Yes, they make those sounds that are incredible, especially Cricketune. Oof. So, once again, completing Cricketot will probably be pretty easy, but that's another skittish sort of Pokemon that might take a minute to, uh, you know, do everything we need to. Plus, this guy, he's just going and bragging about all the good stuff he's got in his pockets. Yes, I am the boy that fell from the sky. And he wants to tell us about his mushroom lure uh, sort of delicacy here, the mushroom cake. So... Yeah, nobody can appreciate his art. I mean, he ain't no David Chang, but <laughs> he might consider himself a bit of a line chef. So he'll teach us the recipe so long as we bring him the key recipe. Scrounge not from the forages of thy fellows. As the old saying goes, one springy mushroom's all you need. So you're really not doing much with the material then, is what I'm gathering out of that. So he wants just the springy mushroom. That's fine. I will take that. But I'm going to go over here and you know what? Actually... Let's change things up just a smidge here. While we're still at camp, I do want to use this as an opportunity to show what it's like to just go ahead and take a quick nap. We'll head over here, we'll rest, and we will go until roughly evening. That way we can get a couple of new pokes under our belt. No. Such a pleasant little sound. Rest in here. Yeah. And it also restores the health of all your Pokemon. I think that more or less went without saying, but... Let's get out of here. Once uh, the sun starts falling and the moon comes out, you're going to start seeing a lot of scary different types, but maybe not as many as you would expect. So get some more acorns. I may have to produce a little bit of, uh, I don't know, Pokeballs here too. So that's fine. I'm just going to skip through all of these. There's not a lot of interest in getting these guys. Although we should maybe avoid the Shinx who's guarding the way. Excuse me. I'm just going to go and juke him. So... And I had mentioned before, if uh, you tried to pass this guard on the bridge, he literally would just say, no, you need something else. Okay, so that Munchlax is kind of scary, so I'm going to go over here. Also, I almost just got killed, I think. <laughs> All right, many strong Pokemon make their home on the other side of this bridge. Good. I'm a rank one. Move aside. I'm 15 years old, see? Oh, here we go. How's it going? Oh, shoot. Do Cricketot not appear after night? Ugh. All right. Well, nice of you guys to hog up the, the bridge here. All right. My, my. A new face in the village? Yes, Ellison Ellison. Very new. I came from the sky, see? Okay. Oof. Look at that. She's got Stantler leggings. But she is one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. Hello, my. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I know what a warden is. I don't need to be from Hisui to know what a warden of anything is. But let's get to the point. A problem she needs help solving. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Not really. 
I just got here. I'm just doing what people are telling me to do. Oh, how uninspiring. <laughs> oh, no, I actually... Oh, okay. Well, I'll take her on. <laughs> I didn't know that's what happened. Yes, I'm very confident. I was just kidding. All right. The security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. Wow, that was a big old grin. All right, so Munchlax, kind of a scary little bugger. And that, that cry is one only a mother can love. So just as you would expect, this is the offspring of Snorlax. Kind of beefy, uh, kind of physical, and we don't really have any way of taking him out. No fighting moves. So let's just go ahead and uh, stick with the Aqua Jet for the time being. It'll be a while before we'll be able to catch a Munchlax as well. And Jesus, that was really weak. Uh-oh. Uh, Kazu, you might not be cut out for this, I think. If I do a strong style, it won't adjust the order. Must be pretty damn slow. Here we go. Strong style. Oof. And it's still not that good. Okay. Um, we, we might need to renegotiate here. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to Shinx. Maybe just the back Shinx. Yeah, we'll go with this one. We might get a paralyzed in there. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, fight's getting intense, man. Luckily, after the battle, she will, uh, heal us all up, so that's nice. Um, you know, yeah, let's go Thundershock. Maybe get that Paralyze in there. Same type attack bonus, and get Paralyze. As I suspected. Okay. Well, we might be in trouble again. Let's try that. Come on. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. I need to hope to God we can kill here, which I think we can. Uh, this would be a good opportunity to just use, like, yeah, strong style quick attack. Because we were already going to go first anyways. So, yeah, let's go quick attack just to be on the safe side. <laughs> and, oof. Yeah, good thing we did that. Better days, nerd. Man, we, we did not have a team set out for this. <laughs> yeah, the, the difficulty of the actual trainer battles is pretty solid, actually. Yeah, you can find yourself in a bit of trouble, especially at the end of the game, where I actually had trouble, and I had to use, like, legendaries and stuff, but at that point, I was focusing mostly on completing the Pokedex. So, she's glad we battled, and she healed us up. She gave us a little smooch on the forehead. Everything is a-okay. Munchlax looks <laughs> disappointed. And for our efforts, she gives us Vivichokes. Thank you. All right, we practically acted as one. Yes, it <laughs> didn't help that Snorlax was beating the shit out of me, too. <laughs> Excuse me, Munchlax. But there is an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. It's a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha, but you'll come. Yes, to Deer Track. Oh, but wait! <laughs> this vibration was too intense for me, man. All right, so the arc phone's going. Have you seen this child? <laughs> Can you, can you call my mom? <laughs> All right. Well, it certainly shows that Deer Track Heights is up ahead of us. So thank you for the words of encouragement. I am quite the asset for being 15 years old. Thank you. So do you already know about the Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? Excuse me? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Well, now she's going to mansplain to us the Almighty Sinnohverse said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow, and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. Hooray for more bigoted religions. So, the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in Hisui to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. Okay, so you were crusaders, got it. But it stole away from the world long ago, hiding from sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human if the old tales are to be trusted. But there's still Pokemon here with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. So, yep, it is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. You don't say. All right, at last, control. So we have a Cricketot over here, and like I said, they like to sort of run around and away if you're not too careful, so I'm just gonna grab it. It's a level nine though, sheesh. All right, I might not get it, but, oh nice, I did. It's always a pleasant surprise when you get them. Uh, off in the distance, you have Drifloom, which will only show up at night. 
So that'll be a fun bit of business. And actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and uh, level up Wormpole. So once it reaches, I believe, level seven, you can evolve it. And with that, we have obtained Silcoon. Nice. Now keep in mind, Silcoon has its own separate Pokedex entry. And what's annoying is I don't think you can access the Pokedex from there. You have to just get out of your menu and then find it wherever it is. So we've evolved one. We need to see it use Poison Sting. We need to catch some during daylight hours, which we can find. And otherwise, this is just better off just catching it in the wild. As for Kukatot, uh, catching him, defeating him, giving it food would also be good too. So we'll also have to get both sexes and then we'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and throw out an arm baddy. There we go. Just go over there. Maybe catch it from behind and not get wrecked by Drifloom because that is a Pokemon that loves to battle. And I don't like to battle it because I am not good at it. But let's do this and thank you. Caught it. So... Yeah, Drifloom is a pretty cool Pokemon, though. I actually quite like it. Eh, will that reach? Nice. Okay, maybe we can battle this one if we catch that other one. Damn it. Oh, what? What's going on? Okay. Well, we could try before it <laughs> that wrecks us. Okay, Drifloom. Was I saying? I might have been saying Drifloom. I don't, I don't remember. Um, so we're probably not going to have the best time using attack here. So let's Aqua Jet. And I think I might just try to def oof, maybe not defeat it. Let's go one more time. Come on, Kazoo. Okay, maybe now I'll catch it. Astonish. That's good. I think we need to look at it doing that move. Well, not look at it, just sort of make sure it does it. And we'll use a Pokeball. Come on, throw. Sweet, sweet justice. All right, come on, baby. Nice. I'm always worried about throwing in battle because it feels so terrible. And it drops Vivid Choke, which is nice. Okay. So, uh, let's let's keep on looking around a little bit just before we move up. Because we are going to need to tow off against a very nasty enemy. And I would just like to maybe get our bearings straight a little bit. If we keep going this way, I think it, we're near the uh, windswept ruins or something. We'll get something really nice. I don't know if we can get it at night. But sure would be cool. So, and if you play this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, which one of you are eating it? You. Or will this one notice? That one notices his friend is gone and like, oh, get out of here, dude. Okay. Uh, Zubat. Let's go ahead and uh, just maybe attack this one. I love me a Zubat, but they do like to attack you as much as they can. <laughs> All right. Fortunately for us, we do have Thundershock, and I completely forgot to equip Ice Fang, so... We'll have to look into that, but there we go. Well done, Chinksy. All right, was there a Vivid Choke? There was. Here we go. So there is definitely some worth in defeating enemies just out of nowhere. But one of the annoying things that I really don't like about the game is just how many menus you have to go into to change their moves and make it learn Ice Fang. You gotta confirm, and then there you go. So Ice Fang, just really versatile, and I think it works out for us. Worth 500, why not? Uh, over here we have those Bogwort Blooms. We'll go and grab a few of these, but we don't want to go too far, just in case. Uh oh, there you go. Okay, so maybe I should maybe fight you just to get one of those under my belt, because if I can get 100% on you, or at least, you know, 10%, we'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to keep going over here. I think we are going the right direction. I just wanted to run over here. And maybe just check out the surroundings. Yeah. What are these guys? And this music is... Oh, it's so good. I like it. All right, Krikatot, turn around. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. Okay. Oh, and you see something in the tree there. If you try to knock it down, a Pokemon will usually come out. So, Zubat, let's take a look at your entry here. So, defeating with Rock-type moves. Watch it use Gust. Evolve it. Investigate Zubat's knack for navigating in the dark. So, catching them during daylight hours tends to be a little bit difficult and not entirely worth it. You have to really time it out very nicely. Um, but if you'd like to turn around, 
<laughs> <laughs> Alright, my bad. Oh, this guy noticed though. Eh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, it's it's gusting. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's about as fast as uh, that'll go wrong. Oof. That was a strong one. This is a strong one. Jesus. Alright, well, I have the same type attack bonus. Let's try it. Come on, Ice Fang! And don't miss, please. Nice. It's just weirdly versatile. I don't know. I like it. Okay, we are near exactly where I want to be. I don't know if they appear at night. Something tells me they do. Here we go. Abra. If they see you, they teleport away. Having one of these on your team, not inherently the best thing in the world. But I do like having it. It's just one of those Pokemon that ever since the red and blue days, back when I was like obsessed with Pokemon, that is where I, my love for Abra really came to shine. It was like coveted. Uh, over there we have a Staravia who is an alpha Pokemon and I don't want anything to do with them. And now that that Abra has run away, I think my chances of catching it are null and void unless we come back. But let's take a quick look at this if it doesn't see me. I hope. Uh, let's see. All right, level 32. We still can't catch it because it's a little too over our head right now, but we can give it some food um, and maybe not let it do anything bad to us. <laughs> I'd like that. There you go. That'll help give us some uh, research points. All right, well, this is a bit unfortunate. There we go. Okay, so maybe if we head over here and we get whatever's in this tree. Uh oh, I, I heard it. Or no, that was Zubat. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting all of my Pokemon cries all messed up. Okay, so usually it's a bug type. Uh, let's just go ahead and give, I would say Pichu. Hmm, let's give it to Shinx. There you go. So you're gonna do that. Ooh, that one's sleeping. And as you would expect, a startled Burmy will appear and depending on what region of the island you're on, you'll have a different type to sort of uh, go through every time. So I'm gonna need Thundershock. Let's see if we can't get a paralyze here. Uh, up, 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 there we go. Nice, Shinxy. Struggle bug. Do the struggle bug. Holy sh shoot. All right. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I am actually not going to do that quite yet. I don't have any revives on hand, but I can craft them. So let's go ahead and toss a Pokeball. And uh, go ahead and hope to God we catch it. <laughs> so that we can nurse Shinx back to decent health. Nice. All right, well, that will certainly help, I would think. Okay, and also that Buizel over there looked like it might have been sleeping. Oh, here we go. Let's try this. Let's run over here. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Catch it during daylight hours, you say? No problem. Also, your throw is, like, substantially weaker than you would think it would be. Ugh. There we go. We eventually get uh, balls that will make catching flying Pokemon much easier. And I don't like them all that much, to be completely honest with you. They certainly could be better, but uh, the last variant of them is not too bad. So that looks like a big boy Buizel. I don't know about you, big boy Buizel. You can have a little treat. And while you eat, I will beat. There we go. Okay, let me see if I can get the, nope, Zubat's gone. All right, that's fine. Where are you, Cricketot? What are you guys doing over here? You don't belong here. Oh, there it is, the large specimen. Okay, this is what I was looking for. All right, Abra, please. It's, it's just like, it, was it just me? Or did anyone else just really like Abra growing up? There we go, back shot, please. No! Okay, it's gonna run. Okay, please. <laughs> I'm almost out of balls, man. Yeah! All right, Abra has now joined the party, my friends. Okay. I think I'm getting a call. So the reason why I've been able to record so much today is because Sarah's been out of town. And I think my voice is starting to, like, wear just slightly thin. So it's probably a good thing that she has uh, been out. But she's been hanging out with her mom. And I just use this as a day to just kind of record stuff, edit it later, and see what happens. So let's go and throw that on Shinx, even though I probably would just go back to camp and rest up there. But I think we're okay with that. Um, as you can see, we have very limited su supply space. So keep an eye out for that. And while we're here, let's take a look at the crafting kit. So 
uh, here we can make stuff with whatever is in our satchel only. So, because I have thought so far in ahead, uh, I'll just go ahead and make a couple of these. And I'll maybe make like 10 more of these or so. Because I am going to want the ape apricorn. It is apricorn. Here I was calling them acorns because I thought I was wrong. I was like, they wouldn't call <laughs> them that in this game. All right. So, I'm actually going to go over here. Nope. So, to change focus, you have to press A. Feels wrong. It's uncomfortable. I don't like it. Also, why did I do that? <laughs> he was still catching, man. Okay, so Cricketot is definitely going to run away. And I definitely did waste that Pokeball. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's go over here. I keep pressing uh, right thumbstick to crouch, and that's not the right button. Okay, so that's about as far as I want to go over there, if not only to catch Abra and see what could happen there. But, we sneak around these here parts... Here, let's go ahead and switch. Let's do this. Let's feed a little bit more because we do want that filled up uh, Pokedex. Uh oh. Also, don't fall in the water. I might have already mentioned this, but bad news bears. There we go. Double or nothing. Yeah, you definitely do not want to drown falling into that. And if you're lucky, you might find yourself a Magikarp or two, which is not great, but they're more likely to appear during a mass outbreak. So don't worry about it. All right, let's get out of here. I've been spending too much time doing all this. Let's go. Over here. You know, at least we got the Zubat and the uh, Drifloom, so we'll be good. Grab you two. Oh, and you're waiting over here for me, aren't you? Or Starlies? Okay. I'll grab some of this stuff. And for the most part, over here you're not going to find a whole lot else uh, aside from what we've already seen. But we can take a quick look just to see what to expect. Um, eventually we'll start seeing more ghost types out at night, like uh, Ghastly and other scary Pokemons. And uh, over here, this is where you can actually get into really bad trouble if you're not too careful. So, we're just gonna run this way. And eventually, yes, we do get better ways to travel. Don't worry. I promise. Okay, so we're basically on the other side here. And I think we're pretty much set. What is that over there? Do you, is that a sleeping Starly? Could have been. Could have been, should have been, would have been, could have been you. Oof. And those cries. There's definitely an alpha pokes over there. Alright. There you go. And, oh, there it is. Okay, we need to stay clear away from that. Oof. Yes, I caught it. Okay, we don't need to do that anymore, by the way. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and toss you right there. Now, let's see if I can't get you in my books. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is scary. Okay. Floatzel. So, we don't have anything on him. We need to see it use Water Pulse in an Agile-style move. Um, I think I'd rather just evolve it, honestly. And maybe get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, maybe something like that. So, it's only level 31. That's not bad. Maybe it's not letting us catch it until after we're a higher level, maybe? I don't know. But here, let's do this. And just because we've already seen it, how about we do something pertaining to the evolution of our dear friend, if I can do this the right way, um, Silcoon. So now that we have that, evolution number two. It's a beautiful beautifly. And had we kept going in that gorge where we saw the uh, Pichu and all the Shinx, uh, we would have seen a ton of like level 25 beautiflies. So that's a good time. Uh, and beautifly, let's see. So like I mentioned, I don't think you can access their Pokedex entries from this screen, which would be so helpful. But let's get out of here. I'm done. We're doing great for ourselves, aren't we? So at this point, um, I would recommend having the Pokemon that has Rock move, or maybe even a Shinx. That would probably be helpful too. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep going over here. I'm out. Later days. We need to go see what Mai wants. She's been waiting here for six hours. Look at look at how big that other Starly is. Good God, they're not gonna attack. They don't know the meaning of the word. Oh, but we're gonna want to be careful because ugh. Geo dudes. Oh, that you're not May. What the heck? Oh, it's Bjorn. Mind helping a guy out? 
I'm after some cherry berries, you know them? Yeah. Cool. Why'd you come this far without any Pokemon? You know the risks. <laughs> okay, so sure. Why not? Trees that bear berries. I think I have a couple of those. There you go. All you had to do was ask, my friend. <sighs> All right, now that handy tip. You can throw a berry near wild Pokemon to distract them. Yeah, so depending on what type of fruit you use, uh, certain Pokemon will actually be affected in different ways. For example, Krikatot might not like a Chesto Berry or a Rost Berry or something. Um, and once you have their Pokemon, uh, did I call it a Chesto Berry? I feel like I said it wrong. Um, then yeah, certain things will happen. You can also use them to change the like, direction of where they're facing. So you can get a back shot easier, but that's fine. Um, Geodude. I'm not a fan of these guys because they are super aggressive, so uh, if I want to, I could probably catch a couple of them because I do like evolving them. And if you're wondering, you know, well, how in the heck can I evolve a Pokemon that requires a trade to? Because yes, you can get a Golem in this game. Uh, it's entirely possible to via very interesting methods. And we'll get into it a little bit later. That kind of goes back with like the, the mystery gift type of thing. All right, defeat with water, grass, leap out of ore deposits, and catch heavy specimens. Okay. Well, I guess you can eat, and I will catch. Nice. So, yeah, anytime you see any of those ore deposits, like, vibrating, that's also a surefire way of getting into a fight. Usually a Geodude, maybe a Graveler. It kind of depends on where you are. But you got to be careful, because uh, these guys will kind of wreck you if you're not careful. <laughs> That was the most redundant statement I've ever said in my life. All right, uh, I guess Kazu can go in Aqua Jet. See how fast this guy falls. There he, oh, he hung on by the skin of his teeth. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, sure, let's do it. Aqua Jet. Beautiful. And hide in the grass <laughs> before his friend notice. Okay, so we mastered a new move. I'm going to take a bet and assume it's Aqua Jet. Which is good, because I like that move. And defeating it with water type is not bad either, so... Yeah, let's just go ahead and, uh... Beautiful. Sometimes I feel like it's a glitch, but you can catch Pokemon unawares from the front. It rarely happens, which makes me think that it's not supposed to happen. So, yeah, let's go with this. <laughs> Oof, look at that. Get him! Get him, Ashwa! Yeah! Ooh, Kazo coming in clutch. I don't think he even had to go that hard, jeesh. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just like one of those things where obviously it just kind of probably broke because of the <laughs> models of the characters in this. Okay, so you're going over there. Who's this? Who's this one? This is also a Starly. All right, that's fine. I will have my own genocide of you invasive species on my own. But we're gonna go over here and there's music. That's weird. Okay. Well, again, this is kind of running a little bit longer than I thought it would, so join me next time as we investigate all the goings-ons here at Deer Track Heights. This is going to be the site of our second camp, and it's going to be a good time. So, my name is Allison. I just want to apologize in advance, just in case it seems as though we're not making nearly as much good progress as I thought we would. But that's just the nature of the game, my friends, so... Take care, and I'll see you next time. I have the higher ground this time. <laughs>